Have you ever wondered what made this man tick? What drove him to be the greatest bodybuilder of all time, then become a great action movie hero and a great Hollywood actor, and then the governor of California, and now almost a age sage in this stage of his life? What makes any man want to go and keep giving and giving? Well, he's authored a new book, and we're here to discuss part two of Be Useful, Seven Tools for Life by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Welcome back to another episode, another, another, another episode of the CVMK Show, because it is what it is. I'm your host, Mr. CVMK33 himself, Cody Vernon Marshall Kelly. Look, you are listening to the best podcast because you have the best podcast host, and it goes down. We are reviewing part two. Finishing up with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Be useful. Seven tools for life. A prolific, my no, it is a prolific read. Honestly, it shocked me. As I mentioned in the first part, part one of the review, more than what I bargained for, more than inspirational, but really thought provoking. Getting into the psychology of what creates greatness. But before we get into it, if you want to keep seeing amazing content, you know what you got to do. Subscribe. Hit the like, share, and subscribe button. YouTube at CVMK. Follow us on the business pages. Go to CVMK underscore global. It is what it is underscore show. And CVMK 33, where it goes down. And where the best supplements are. www.cvmkglobal.store. We'll be back with the review and ending part two of Arnold's Be Useful book. After this message. Yo, 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 yo. Subscribe. Anyway, so we left off at chapter four. Chapter four is entitled Sell, Sell, Sell. And it's really about your vision, your product, your business. It all is about selling. Selling. Are you a seller? This is a notable quote. This is something that really says, says being open about what you are trying to achieve and then telling your story that is perceived or that needs to be, it should have been worded, perceived in the most positive light by your customer. So there's three aspects of this. It's being open, completely transparent, open about what you're trying to aim for. Communicating that verbally and non-verbally about what you're trying to aim for. Then allow this aim to actually be received in a positive light turn your driver into something that people want to rally behind. And then you will develop a customer base. Because if you don't have any customers, how can you develop it by your customers? So ultimately you have to track that and then understand that which you attract. Sell, sell, sell is a fantastic point of view. And I think it speaks to us on so many levels. I think what we don't want to uh, acknowledge a lot of times is the mere fact that if you can't articulate it, we can't believe it. The word is power. And we need to uh, create a situation, I think, in life and in business where your brand message is strong. And it's not just strong, it's potent and it's understandable. I don't have to guess what I'm getting, what I'm getting you. And a lot of times I think we don't do a great job in narrating our own stories. And we just, well, this is just me. This is who I am. Take me as I am, blah, 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 blah. But the problem with blah, 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 is that that's not a coherent sentence. It's hard to read. It's ineligible. It's not that it's dumb or ignorant, the lack of intelligence. But I don't think we truly understand intelligence. 
it negates the power of transaction because I can't interpret blah, 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 blah. So I think this is absolutely vital. He says something to this effect. He says, speak your inner voice out loud so that others can hear it. I wonder, are we speaking our brain? Are we speaking our aim? Are we speaking our mission to the point that not only is it heard, it's heard often, it's heard by many, and it's never misinterpreted? Do we whisper and confuse it with loudness? Do we scream and confuse it with effectiveness? Are we, you know, just making noise? The Bible talks about a tinkling sound, you know, a tinkling symbol, sounding brass and a tinkling symbol if we do not have love. And I think that at the core of Arnold's messaging, speaking your inner voice is speaking the inner conscious driver, the moral North Star that has the ultimate weight because it is something that is implemented and implanted by the Father himself, by the Lord God, and allowing that voice to be heard then even larger than your own or larger than any other voice so that others can hear it, hear it by seeing it. Because the faith comes by hearing Hearing my Lord God, how then can we really project and really understand the essence in which we're trying to accomplish? You have to speak that internal driver out loud and it has to be seen, it has to be felt. It has to be understood, it has to be interpreted, it has to be debated, negotiated. There should be a bouncing between parties of the same information so that the customer and those that are, have potential to be customers can decide for themselves, is this truth? So I like sell, sell, sell. Chapter five goes into shifting gears. He really talks about learning when to pivot, brings up the instance of uh, the natural emergency they were having in California and, and how he had to pivot and, you know, rally, um, you know, to make sure that they had enough hospital beds and, and things of that nature. And shifting gears, I think, is important. He talks about reframing failure because in life, everything is not a home run. Some things are strikeouts. Learning when to shift is essential for survival. I don't think enough people understand when and then how to shift. I think people downshift when you're supposed to shift it into neutral. People slam on the great brakes when you're just supposed to ease off the gas. Not knowing when and how to apply certain measures can create chaos. Learning how to pivot, learning when to pivot, learning that pivot is necessary, is essential for longevity and legacy. Arnold tackles this idea of the pivot, right? There are plenty of scriptural examples. I mean, you could talk about Moses. We could talk about David after, you know, uh, the killing of Uriah and the prophet Nathan. But it's, it's about learning when this path is no longer feasible. How do we get to the next thing? Look, we're going to take a quick word from our sponsors. So when we return, we're going to talk about shifting gears. We're going to talk about learning um, how to shift from this into what he talks about is shut your mouth and open your mind. 
a quick word from our sponsors. There's a hero in all of us waiting to be unleashed. All it takes is just that one last push. Activate the hero within with CBMK Global Supplements. All natural, steroid free, designed to enhance performance, build muscle, and increase energy. You are unstoppable. You can do this. Become your own hero at www.cbmkglobal.store. Yo, www.cbmkglobal.store. It goes down in the DMs. No, I'm playing. It goes down for real, though. www.cbmkglobal.store. You know why? Because it's the best supplement company. My wife and I have made it our priority to produce safe, effective supplements for all. I'm a type 1 diabetic. I can't take everything. But I make sure what I take, what I create, won't harm me. From the vegan proteins, to the whey proteins, to the BCAAs, to the pre-workouts, it's designed to get you there and to be in an optimal state. Go to it, check out, go to Signature Supplements, put in code CVMK24 for 24% off. You won't be disappointed. You're going to like the way you look. (laughs) They just... They just steal that from his warehouse, but it is true. Look, shut your mouth, open your mind. Uh, chapter six. Who Arnold, I think Arnold taps into this idea of eliminating an echo chamber and complaining without resolve. Two things. The first is pretty normal. I think most people like to complain, but don't offer solutions. Shut your mouth and open your mind. But reducing, if not trying to strategically um, eliminate an echo chamber so that positive outcome can occur, that we can consider the alternative even if we don't decide to go with it, but for the sake of humanity and proper due process, I think is pertinent. I think one always has to look at the possibility that there is another possibility. I think it's okay, right? I don't think it's uh, a misnomer because, you know, plan A didn't work out. I think considering that even when you feel like you don't have a way out or even when you feel like your back is against the wall, there's still another move that can be made for your good, for your safety. And it's about understanding this complexity, understanding how to do this thing, right? So I think that's absolutely essential. And then the last thing is break your mirrors. Break what you see and envision a new reality. Break comparisons. There's a hero in all of us. As I about to edit that part out, Brian, I know that. But break, break, break your weaknesses, but also break the over reliance upon strength. Break from the need to be lethargic. Break from apathy. Break from slowfulness. Break from mundane activity. Break your mirrors and see a new world. I think when we prioritize in vision, we will have a new vision. You have to get past environmental reflections and societal pressure and embrace who you're called to be in order to exact this reality. And when you do that, when you effectively break your mirrors, you shall have peace. So I think overall, going through the book, It is a good read. As a believer, it echoes 
the very intentions of the scriptures. And it's interesting that Arnold, who is in now his 70s, mid 70s, has come to a point in life that even he realizes that the wisdom that I've gained has been all because of a certain aspiration. And this aspiration is a certain mode of faith. And this modality of faith is what has allowed me to get to this point in time. And to share that with all is going to help lead to some positive results. Yo, this has been another episode. Look, I want you to do this. If you want to keep seeing it, I keep bringing it up. I'm going to have to play the video for you because you don't get it. You don't get it. You don't get it. So let me take you there so you can get it for yourself. Hey, what's up? It's CVMK33. Look, I want you to subscribe, hit the notification bell, subscribe here, 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 everywhere so you can get the latest and greatest of this podcast content. Stay tuned. Yo! Subscribe, YouTube, CVMK, Instagram, it is what it is, underscore show, CVMK, underscore global, CVMK33, and TikTok at CVMK Globe, Twitch at CVMK Globe. I mean, everywhere, everywhere you can think of, everywhere. <laughs> because it goes down. Cody's Life One on Twitter and CVMK Global on Twitter as well. I believe in reading. And if you are what you eat, you also have to ingest proper material into your cerebrum, to your psyche, because you don't want your mental space to be clogged down with artificial flavoring and sugar. And obviously the word of God being the best protein, but there are other things that you can surround yourself with to build a better life and a better you. And I highly recommend be useful seven tools for life. We bring the book out so you know what it look like by Arnold himself. www.cvmkglobal.store. And until next time, guys, thanks. If you think exercise alone got me looking like this, well, think again. CVMK Global Super Thick got me right. I'm obsessed, and yeah, I won't stop talking about it because it helped me grow in all the right places. Its creatine provides a fast and reliable way to increase your power, size, and shape. And it's scientifically proven to help you reach your physical goals in a safe, controlled manner. So if you want to increase muscle size, pump, and thickness in your muscle groups, you need Super Thick.